What is up, everybody? Back again with another video in the How Strong series. You guys knew this day would come. Of course, he's one of the most popular characters of all time. The man, myth, the legend himself, known as Batman. The Batman is one of the most popular characters, or the most popular character in DC Comics. Some consider him the greatest actual martial arts fighter in fictional history. Some don't. It's up for debate. But one thing is for sure, I've actually heard some people lowball him. He gets overhyped sometimes. I get it. But he, because of his popularity, that's the nature of it. But overall, I do think he gets underestimated sometimes because of the whole definition of oh he's got no superpowers you know so that makes people try to limit him because he doesn't by definition have any superpowers but i've said this many times in the comics and i'll say it again that a comic book human like fiction and period you don't need to actually have any enhancements no super soldier serum no type of steroids to make you be able to perform superhuman and consistently have superhuman feats if we went by just straight up definition and just what didn't it just ignored everything he did in the comics then yeah he would be superhuman but it's kind of ridiculous how much superhuman stuff he does considering he quote unquote doesn't have no superpowers and the fact that he can hang with people way physically stronger than him for some reason or fight people that are way past the normal human levels or even he's even faster than peak humans like Usain Bolt he's even stronger than like animals like gorillas like you're probably like what yeah yeah, yeah. you're gonna see what I'm saying like yeah like freaking gor gorillas no, you did not mishear me. I actually said gorilla. Yeah, he's that freaking strong. But let me get into it right quick. A lot of people don't really get it. Swain was an orphan. You know the story. He had, you know, his parents killed in front of him, dedicated his life to fighting crime, has a lot of cool gadgets, which is probably one of the reasons why he's uh, overpowered, too, when it comes to characters in his range of power. Not only is he, like, one of the best physical strong people for, you know, not having any type of enhancements to his body, but just hard work and dedication, but he also has gadgets that further imply his attack power. And he can move with all this gear on him, too. Like that's another thing you have to consider. But how strong and fast is the actual Batman Bruce Wayne himself, though? Well, let's find out. Naturally, he has this trusted battering as part of his gear. Batman's famous utility belt has pretty much everything you can think of. It has infrared flashlight, smoke capsules, fingerprint dusting kit, miniature camera, lockpick tools, tear gas pellets, micro processor power source, micro cassette recorder, Batline reel, laser torch, plastic explosive, grenades, rebreathing apparatus. And of course, you know, he has his trusty Batmobile. This is just a little tip of the iceberg type of thing. It's like sometimes the writers kind of give him gear necessary for the story. <laughs> like he has netting stuff too. Has some sort of what? Explosive foam? He has uh, batterings that are torpedo explosive evidently. Which can even damage military submarines. Like, whoa. He has knockout gas grenades. Has knockout darts. Even adrenaline darts he even has random gear at times like even emps just just carrying those around <laughs> somehow he even carries around ass okay okay you see if he doesn't beat you with his hand-to-hand -hand combat or martial arts skills he will beat you with one of these gears like he has lasers that can cut through stuff too lasers lasers you're probably thinking okay this dude's too much we gotta beat this dude while he's not in his suit at least right well bruce wayne is kind of paranoid he kind of even prepares for stuff happening when he's not in his suit just in case somebody might catch him off guard or find out his identity or he needs to do something on the fly like bruce wayne actually carries around nose filters for toxins and stuff like that just in case stuff like this happens i mean that's pretty smart he does live in a supernatural supernatural world i'm so glad he doesn't forget that you know we got super beings everywhere meta humans everywhere Talk about paranoid. He even carries a dart launcher in his freaking sleeve. He's always prepared. Actually has a toothpick in his fake tooth. Yeah, okay. More or less, his suit or a bat suit in general is Kevlar lines. So just normal bullets ain't going to just pierce through his body and just kill him instantly, right? Can run an electric charge through his whole suit. His cape is evidently sharp and can be used as a weapon as well. Yeah, he just got all of this stuff prepared. The cow can evidently release stuff enough to stun Grundy. Grundy in this occasion was mind control, though. This is from, you know, similar to the movie Superman Batman Public Enemies where um, Gula Grau was controlling everybody. And, you know, Grundy's like super inconsistent with his power level. So he more than likely wasn't Superman level here. Just want to make that clear. Trying to go too much into his like, you know, supercomputer, all that good stuff. The different interests, interests and surveillance in the Batcave and stuff like that. Bruce Wayne's manner and all that stuff. He actually has a shooting range in his back cave for training. Of course, Bruce Wayne is a hardworking trainer. This is how he accomplishes all his superhuman feats. I'm going to go over it a little bit. Hard work and dedication in comics, right? You can be superhuman just if you train hard enough in comics. I know. Has an entire fake city block for training sequences and scenarios. Yeah, that's why these guys are so prepared for everything. Harsh training. Holographic training room. This is similar to the danger room in the X-Men. Yeah, I know that's crazy, right? 
and yet even has an obstacle course. <laughs> you got to love it. Oh, man. You're probably thinking, man, what else does he need already? I mean, he has all this stuff going for him. Well, let's get into his skills. Oh, boy. Batman is very precise in things like that. It's even stated that he there isn't a nerve strike that Batman doesn't know. Can disable characters like Green Arrow, other good fighters in DC, with a nerve strike. Seems to be a gap in skills between these two, though. I'm not even going to lie. When it comes to marksmanship, you probably, you know, Green Arrow probably got it. But, you know, hand-to-hand, -hand, Batman seems like there's a gap. Yeah, Batman's a master of disguise. Yeah, I know. He looks like Ronald Reagan. Don't ask. Master of disguise. He takes out somebody with a nerve pinch. Yet again, technical fighting skills. He intercepts a flip coin with a bat with a battering throw. He's that precise with his skills. So there was this time he was running, right? He ricocheted his battering off a wall, off a statue, to knock out three thugs. Yeah. yeah. Has a decent amount of marksmanship. Throws his battering to where it jams the gun. Freaking killed a henchman with a freaking penny. Throws a gun and bounces it off three thugs, dodging and bullets. Here as you can see. Lady Shiva, oh, you know Batgirl's uh, mother. He actually got intense training from characters, some of the best fighters in fictional history, like Lady Shiva. He's learned from her, got all kinds of training, being able to predict his opponent's moves. This is even proven in combat when he was fighting as being known as Vigilante, using his skills able to predict his move before he even did it. Yes, yeah, the same Vigilante that appeared in the uh, CW Arrowverse. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. He's a comic book character, just in case you didn't know. This is one of the things that makes him superhuman. He's like literally a master of every single hand-to-hand -hand combat style known to man. Uh, how, though? Like, how do you even have enough time to learn all this when you're only 30-something years old? Bruce Wayne's only 30 years old. He did not time travel. He did not learn these things. He does age. So it's like ridiculous. How, that's either super fast learning and dedication or not getting no sleep. And then it says he's a peak human, even though he's above peak human. But no peak human is doing that. Stated on panel that he has mastered all the fighting arts. He gave Batgirl a CD of all the fighting styles he's learned, 127. Yes, he has learned 127 fighting styles, fighting arts. Just an example of how durable he is. You know, he can just take raw hits from kids like Clayface without any armor on. Oh boy, this man is dangerous. Oh man, let's get into some speed, running speed, combat speed, and overall movement speed. Now, this is the section right here that will probably convince you, if you're not already convinced, that he's in the superhuman levels of power. No, I'm not saying he's in no Superman ranges or Wonder Woman ranges or even Spider-Man ranges when it comes to superhumanness. But I'm just saying, for him, to, for you to think he's only pink human is kind of foolish at this point. But this will further prove it. Comics, you don't, you, you just need evidently enough training and you can become superhuman. That's just how it is. That's crazy, right? Even Olympic level athletes are nothing compared to Batman when it comes to all physical capabilities. Stated here, he is also a master of all forms of physical combat, an unparalleled strategist, a tactician, expert in the art of disguise, and has been called by some of the world's greatest escape artists. His reasoning and inductive abilities are second to none. World's greatest detective, too. He has shown consistent times to be moving too fast to get a decent aim on him. While he's in the middle of saving somebody from a train, he immediately died his gunfire. Like, yeah, you're probably, oh, he just aim dodging. Oh, you old boy. He has been had times where he seemed to be a blur. He was able to blitz Nightwing and Tim and, you know, fighting, of course. His speed, they couldn't really hardly react to Batman's speed and combat skills and paralysis, basically. He's literally caught up to a car by sprinting and jumping. Yeah, uh-huh. You've seen this right. Another occasion of him moving like a blur in combat projectiles that are moving faster than I can see are slower than evidently batterings. He can intercept shurikens with battering. Yeah, his combat speed. Or some would say fighting seed is very precise and focused, catching uh, another arrow in this occasion. Literally splits an arrow in half. Has straight up blocked bullets. Reaction time. You see the you see the range of this guy? Like he's right near him. He shot him and blocked like there it is. It's not aim dodging. He the bullet was literally on flight. It's literally confirmed that Batman's reaction time and combat speed, his eyesight is so good that he can perceive bullets in slow motion, similar to how Characters from Marvel that are super soldiers like Captain America can perceive bullets. Batman can do the same. And it's consistent too. He has consistent showings of dodging bullets, whether it's in front of him or behind him, on multiple occasions. So you can't really say it's an outlier. Even from behind a door, pretty much catching him off guard. Same goes for sniper bullets can react to that as well. I've got a full-blown video about Nightwing. So check that out if you would like. Proving his combat speed even more against characters like Nightwing that is pretty much confirmed to have better agility than him. But yeah, there are times where Nightwing has some decent trouble tagging him. But yeah, they're pretty close in speed though. If I was, to be honest, yeah, they be going at it. Even though I got a reason, occasions like this shouldn't happen. There's times where speedsters aren't moving their fast speed or they underestimate a lower tier character's speed. 
This is the occasion where Batman was actually able to tag Kid Flash in this specific occasion. No, I'm not trying to scare him to Kid Flash because we know Kid Flash. If he was really, really running his fast, he, he would be too fast for even Batman. Oh, but he's he's human, right? <laughs> yeah. This large fall. Yeah. Yeah, he's 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 human, though. Yeah, he's, he's only human. Yeah, comics with training, he's not human. Not really nothing contradicting his combat speed being superhuman. I mean, characters that are like, what, his sidekicks, like Nightwing and Robin have feats like this as well. So... I mean, I got a full video about Cassandra came back, girl. His speed should be comparable to her. It's up for debate whether who you find is a better fighter because these two be going at it. I'm not even going to lie. But here's the thing. I kind of want to give it to Batman because, you know, he's Batman. But at the same time, I can't deny her feats because I got a whole video about her. You'll see what I'm talking about. You watch that video as well. I mean, he should have comparable speed to characters like Cassandra Kane, right? Who can literally stare down bullets while they are mid-flight. For some miracle, you still don't believe that Batman is like what he, what you think I'm telling you he is. I'm kind of about to get into his strength feats on top of all these speed feats. You know, he's already confirmed that he's faster than bullets when it comes to reaction time, fighting speed, and dodging speed and stuff like that. But let's get into some of his strength feats, which confirms it even more that just because he's not on no super soldier serum, he's not a super soldier like Deathstroke, that doesn't mean he can't hang with characters like Deathstroke, even possibly beat characters like Deathstroke, or even beat people that are physically strong in Deathstroke. Or lift stuff that he really shouldn't be able to lift with his freaking raw strength alone. And he's not enhanced. Okay, so there's this large piece of rubble he had to move out the way. There was this large penny. Like, you see how big this penny is? He was able to stop this large penny by pulling it. He was able to move these large crates of explosives. He was able to use his strength to move this. This, yeah. Um, He was able to hold up this large piece of concrete, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not human. Absolutely ridiculous. He was able to hold up a little piece of a collapsing building, a building, not the whole building, obviously, right? But I don't care if it's one fiftieth of a freaking collapsing building. That's freaking ridiculous. Or one one hundredth of a collapsing building. I don't care what little piece of he did. This is absurdity. And then, I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg. You think those are impressive. How about his his actual striking feats is even more impressive than that because everybody knows this. You might not know this. Most of the time, most people in real life in general have more attack power than their lifting strength, which is why people bring up lifting feats sometimes because people look at it like this. Well, okay, if he can lift this much, imagine how much he can strike with. That's why a lot of people bring up lifting feats, and I'm one of those people as well. I certainly believe you can scale your lifting power to your striking power. I do believe you can lift a certain amount of weight. More than likely, unless it's a rare occasion or some weird condition where you can't produce the velocity or have terrible form or something, more than likely you can hit way harder than what you can lift. And Batman has kind of pretty much confirmed that as well. These lifting feats on their own are already impressive. But add on fact, he's like one of the best fighters on top of that with some it's absurd technique. He has some of the craziest striking feats to back it up. Like literally kicking a concrete pillar in half with his kicking power. Literally punching through a wall, pulling this weird psycho person through the wall. There was this reinforced glass that he was able to crack. This wall was designed to take a bazooka, by the way, literally has the attack power to break a gun in half. Yeah, he, yeah, the attack power is ridiculous. Another occasion of him breaking another gun with his raw strength. Oh, what do you know? Another occasion of him breaking a gun. Comic logic, right? There was a sentient building. Yeah, a building that's alive. He was able to punch through the floor of a sentient building. Somehow, he was able to break out of being frozen freaking solid. Let's get into his stamina and willpower. He can fight for three days straight. Stamina and willpower, right? He'd be fighting like people and he'd be like sending them flying far. He's like pretty much curb stomp characters like Green Arrow before. Like he's got he's that skill. He has too many occasions of his striking striking power, being able to punch through brick, kicking down trees, stuff like that. Like shattering a, a sentient stone gargoyle. Yeah, he's that hard. He can punch that hard. Most of the time, normal handcuffs can't hold him. Casually swinging around, man bat, six hundred pounder. He achieved all of this with just hard work, dedication, lifting a massive amount of weight. Like look at that big old weight he's holding and bench pressing, dude. Even while young, lift massive amounts of weight, training, and etc. Reaps the door off an airplane hinge. Like, man, he ain't normal human, man. He can even leg press 2,500 pounds. Can easily rip chains apart. Can pull massive steel beams with his Gatling gun. Like, yo, these big things. He's had a lot of notable fights over the years, fighting people that are pretty much superhuman themselves, like beating up kids like Green Arrow yet again. Yeah, he keeps abusing Green Arrow in this vid, I know. Characters that can fight pretty well like Catwoman are generally 
portrayed to be lower than Batman when it comes to skills, power, speed, and etc. over and over again throughout the years. And she just likes Batman anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Gotta love it. Easily overpowers and subdues characters like Catwoman. He even fights this character known as Karate Kid in a contest of pure skill. A, a being that's debatably one of the also, if not the best hand-to-hand -hand fighter in DC as well. Able to fight with him over and over again. If you still don't believe he's superhuman, Batman still has his, he has his occasions of him actually getting an advantage over superhuman by definition, people. Oh, man. Like I said, Solomon Grundy is one of the most inconsistent characters of all time, but he was able to get the advantage and even defeat Solomon Grundy in this occasion. Obviously, he wasn't at those crazy power levels here, though. Still a superhuman and metahuman by definition. He's fought characters that are so-called, quote-unquote, enhanced with super soldier serum or, you know, enhanced like Deathstroke. Has fought Deathstroke in some decent wars, showing despite him not having no super serum or anything, he still has the strength to compete and not be dead weight. Batman didn't have his weapons here, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Don't know why I didn't go over this earlier, but he literally beat waves and waves of people, like 20 plus people. Like, you gotta be a formidable foe in combat and speed and everything to fight him one-on-one -on -one if he can take out this many people by himself. I'm not playing. Like, he beats waves of them. 40 of them armed. They were literally armed. They got completely mollywopped. Whoa. Dang, Batman. God dang. I'm not playing when I say he be taking down waves of people. Like, this gotta be at least hundreds by himself. Yeah. What is this, a gladiator match? Good gracious. God, dog. Okay, I'm just in my, I'm in admiration of this many people. He's had occasions where he's fought superhuman characters like Killer Croc, along with Catwoman, until the fight ended, you know, abruptly. No winner here, though. X-Men and Man Bat, by the way, also were helping, just in case you were wondering. Well, guys, there's not much more to say, man. I know I, I can't go over everything. I mean, Batman has so much stuff, gear that I'm probably not even showing. I try to get over the big chunk and the majority of his coolest stuff. He's consistently able to fight the show, fight waves and waves of people, superhumans, as far as characters that are enhancing him. He's not enhanced like Deathstroke and fights and matched him in strength to some degree, even if he does lose. It's ridiculous that the panels even last that long against a president that's superhuman. He's fought multiple superhumans at once, like Man Bat, etc. And kill a croc and etc. All of them at once. It's just it's just ridiculous. Probably will go over some of his other gear in other videos, like his prep time suits, like the Justice Buster, like he had in the New Fifty Two era, and suits like the Hellbat and stuff like that. But they're not a part of his standing gear. He can just summon on the fly, like Iron Man style. Like Iron Man is a battle suit type character. His suits are always on standby. Batman's are not always on standby, which is why I include this in the main Batman feat run. I try to make this base Batman feat run for a reason and stuff like that. Also, Batman has ridiculous prep time feats as well some of this stuff i will more than likely be saving but man batman is a monster has ridiculous combat speed debatably massively hypersonic can react probably in microseconds if i'm being honest a lot of people thought that the match between captain america and batman would be an unrealistic matchup. i personally believe after all these showings i've shown you him being able to fight captain america is definitely reasonable considering that he's fought slade and characters similar to captain america you know just because he doesn't have the actual serum or he's not enhanced by definition doesn't mean he's not enhanced he he worked his way up to that level somehow some way doesn't make the most sense on how you can work out and get that strong or speed and etc. But hey, that's fiction. There's a lot of characters like this. It's like Cassandra came back, girl. Right? There's a lot of characters that don't have any type of enhancements that are basically enhanced tier, enhanced strength, Batman kicking down pillars, Batman kicking motorcycles in half. I mean, is that human to you? I don't think that, that don't sound human to me, but what do you guys think? I'm pretty sure you knew Batman was this strong. Batman is one of the most popular characters of all time. I find that some it's weird that some people uh, underestimate Batman, which is a little weird, but that's just me. I've concluded that Batman, if he didn't have no suit on or nothing, could actually take down an actual gorilla. I mean, why wouldn't he be able to take down a gorilla if he's fighting Killer Croc and was able to fight him? Clayface and Deathstroke, all those characters are stronger than gorillas. I mean, I don't know why that seems so unreasonable. I mean, he has to be, right? I mean, he's just a human. How can he beat a gorilla? Dude, he fights metahumans and normal people and he can hurt them and get the advantage over Grundy, like, come on now, like, a gorilla wouldn't be nothing for Batman, he probably can fight 50 gorillas, if I'm being honest, but that's just me, 
to further put the nail in the coffin, you guys remember the Injustice games? You know the really good game that has an amazing story mode with amazing cutscenes, like that's basically like a movie. You know, even their interpretation of Batman is pretty superhuman, even though he basically has the same powers and abilities and gadgets as the main, you know, comic book one, the one I just went over in this video, and is you know basically based off that one, right? Even characters that are weaker than him in this game, like characters that can fight pretty well but still weaker than Batman by a lot, characters like Harley Quinn are able to. I know it may be hard for some of you to swallow, but even characters like Harley Quinn and Catwoman are generally portrayed to be superhuman as well. They're Gorilla Silly with Gorilla Gride. I know this may be hard for you to chew, but even these characters are comparable to gorillas and even be able to beat down multiple gorillas. Yeah, that's right. Even Catwoman. They're portrayed like this in the game as well. And unless you believe that Catwoman in the game is stronger than a comic book one, uh, then yeah. This is pretty accurate to the comics as well. Harley Quinn doing this to gorillas. <laughs> People that are new to comic books and don't understand how humans work in comic books may see this as bad writing or just terrible. But this is actually pretty consistent considering Killer Croc is stronger than gorillas. So why shouldn't they be able to do this? I'm just saying. Yeah, let that sink in. Catwoman and Harley Quinn are portrayed, even in the video game that's not even canon to the main comic, are portrayed this powerful. And I'm pretty sure they're not stronger than their comic book counterparts. I'm just saying. And Batman is above her even in Injustice Saga. Matter of fact, Harley Quinn was working for Batman in the Injustice Saga. So just give you an idea. Yeah, I'm not tripping. But that could be just be just tripping. Who knows? <laughs> what do you guys think? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Make sure you check out the description for playlists like this. I do a lot of videos like this. Make sure you check out their feeling links and things below. Just check out the bio in general. And make sure you check through my page for more unique content like this. I do a lot of stuff like this. This isn't just my only thing I do. So make sure you post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. I'll see you guys next time.